the oppressed and help us to build a Bharat in which we all citizens can live together in a perfect harmony and work with hands in hands and work together for the progress of the nation. Unity or a team is one of the strongest forces in the world. United we stand, divided we fall. Our country has to work unitedly for the progress and development of a nation. My dear fellow Indians, be thankful to the Constitution. Learn equality, show equality. Obey the laws, follow the rules. My dear young sir, nothing is permanent on the earth. Everything will vanish off one day. Stop discriminating people, start showing humanity. My dear friends, many leaders sacrifice their lives to make an independent India. Respect them, reflect them. Connect the people with it, correct the people with it. Constitution is not a mere lawyer document. It is a vehicle of life and its spirit is always the spirit of age. A very hearty good morning to one and all present here. Today, 26 November, we the students of class 7C and 7D will be presenting our assembly on the Constitution Day. Let us feel proud to be a part of India. Constitution is a legal document that contains powers and duties of government institution, fundamental rights, duties of citizens and directed principle among others. The Constitution of India is the longest written constitution of any sovereign country in the world. It aims to create awareness of the fundamental duties as it is in the Indian Constitution. Constitution Day is also known as Sanskritan Diva. It is celebrated in a country on 26 November every year to commemorate the adoption of Constitution of India. On 26 November 1949, the Constituent Assembly of India adopted the Constitution of India which came into effect from 26 January 1950. Dr. B. Ramaji Ambedkar is known as father of Indian Constitution. He introduced the final draft of the Constitution in the Constituent Assembly. The Constitution is a set of written principles and precedents of the Government of India. It frames the fundamental political principles, the restrictions and the duties of the Government and the responsibilities of the citizen of the country. The Constitution of India also declares the country sovereign, secular, socialist and a democratic republic. It assures its citizens equality, liberty and justice. Human are mortal, so are the ideas. An idea needs propagation as much as plants need watering, otherwise both will die. Baba Sahib said the idea must be propagated, they must be transferred from person to person. Otherwise, they will wither or die. Being a citizen of India, we all have some moral responsibilities and duties. As the commitment mentioned in constitution, we all must contribute in the protection of our country. In a constitution, the preamble presents the history behind its creation and the core values and the principle of the nation. Preamble is a brief statement which records the aims and the aspirations of the people of India. Let us together read the preamble of our Indian constitution. Before saying the preambles, I would like to request you all to keep your right hand on your chest as a mark of respect towards the constitution. We, the people of India, having solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sort of all its citizens, justice, social, economic, and political liberty of thoughts, expressions, and belief, and faith, and worship, equality of status and of opportunities, and to prove among them all fraternity, and unity, and integrity of our nation. In our constituent assembly, this 26th day of November 1949, do hereby adopt, enact, and give to us this constitution. Regulate the relationship between various organs, as well as between the citizen and the government. It guarantees certain fundamental rights to the citizen in order to protect them against the injustice by the government. Fundamental rights are essential human rights that are offered to every citizen irrespective of their caste, race, creed, place of birth, religion and gender. These are equals to freedom and these rights are for personal good and the society at large. The constitution has declared that all citizens are equal before law. No one will be discriminated against on the ground of religion, race, caste or place of birth. The weaker and backward section of society, however, being given a certain privileges by the way of preservation of seats in school, colleges, government services and in the legislature. Right to freedom.
freedom. It guarantees you freedom to promote the idol of liberty, freedom of speech and expression, freedom to form association and unions, freedom to assemble peacefully, freedom to move freely throughout the territory of India to practice and profess. Right again, exploration. It abolishes by and selling of human as well as all forms of forces. Never it also prohibits drawing of children below the age of 14. Right to freedom of religion. It implies that all the religions are equal before the law. There is no state religion. Right to constitutional remedies. A, a citizen can file a lawsuit against the government in high court or supreme court. It safeguards our fundamental rights by granting us the right to constitutional remedies. It safeguards our fundamental rights by granting us the right to constitutional remedies. It also protects the citizens against any violation. Culture and education rights. People in our country belongs to diverse culture and speak different languages. Everybody has right to develop and preserve their culture. People belonging to different communities have right to establish their education institution. We are citizens in this country, we are one in this state, and we hope that our unity may one day be restored, and then though we are Indians by our love, by our love, and the love of constitution by our love, we will walk with each other, with the people of our faith, we will stand for each other, with the Today we celebrate the Constitution Day of India. It is also called Sambhidhan Divas or National National Law Day. We became a Republic on this day. Today we commemorate the adoption of the Constitution of India. The Constitution of India is the supreme law of India. The document lays down the framework that demarcates the fundamental political called structure, procedure, power, duties, rights and principles of a citizen.